Hello, this is a drawing of a planetary surface and it's quite dark and quite silent looking. It's got two interesting things about it. It's got uh, these these fumaroles which are gas vents uh, and it's got it's got crystalline shards which you can find on some planets. Now the, the crystal shards are um, sort of collections of microorganisms. They they form these these pointy sort of stalagmite like sticky uppy spines and you can shoot them if you're in in an SRV on a planet surface and and they they drop certain materials that they've got as part of their composition so that's quite interesting but the fumaroles are lovely because they create these clouds of gas that that sort of mist up and give a kind of an almost an atmospheric quality to these because these are airless surfaces that you tend to find these things on so yeah uh, it's it's quite pleasant really drawing this one. It was very relaxing, mostly smudging. I had high hopes for it, but I don't know whether I did the planet as well as I was planning to. It had this grandeur to it because of that, that great big gas giant in the distance just hovering on, on the horizon, sort of hidden by some of those fumaroles. And it was in shadow, but then the clouds belching from these these funnels were sort of masking off part of that gas giant so it was so it looked light again on that side so which is quite a nice little effect that the command had managed to capture it just timed it so that these clouds were were obscuring part of the dark part of that gas giant they're there in this SRV and, and when you're on a planet surface in an SRV you, you get this this amazing feeling of kind of connection to the surface that the, you're making track your SRV wheels can kick up a different color so you'll get these stripes of a slightly different colour on the ground. And that's a really good effect. This is almost black and white, this picture was, but just had a, a brownish quality to the ground. So I sort of tried to tried to show that, but almost entirely black and white. And it, yeah, it's not, apart from this, this SRV. This SRV with its blue paint job, and it's got the glowing blue uh, metallic gleam to it. So fumaroles, they're um, a geological signal, and you'll see them if you if you scan the planet. You'll, you'll see these these fumaroles and uh, they're often clustered with other things if they're on an ice planet you you'll sometimes see them them giving off a glow of flame i have been to a few planets that have got crystal shards on they're certainly they're quite um, rich in raw materials that you can use to improve your spaceships and that makes them quite a good destination also they're quite often very pretty i tend to find that the the places i was going these uh ridiculously steep angled hills that you drive up and then your your SRV if you if you hit a, a tiny pebble the wrong way your SRV might tumble tumble down the, the steep hill directly onto one of these spikes and then you'd be pinned on the spike <laughs> and you're unable to get back uh, I, gosh I, I think I might have actually ended up, I think, I don't know what I did. I don't know whether I smashed my ship up or something. I did something stupid anyway. And when I went to rebuy, I uh, I, 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 I mashed my fist into the keyboard clearly because I, I didn't buy back any of my engineered modifications. So I didn't have my Guardian Frameshift Drive booster. So I had to limp back really slowly like a fool. I quite enjoyed with this picture. I quite enjoyed doing it in reverse, if you like, making the black colour of the paper, the rock, and, and then adding the lighter shades of grey as you get progressively further away and more obscured by the, the clouds. It was cool, actually. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, thank you for watching. That must have taken a lot of patience listening to me talking about gas vents for four minutes. Uh, I appreciate it. Anyway, bye.